chance to work with this um, 110 volt LED bulb quite a bit more today and I tried it on different exciters and different circuits and stuff and this is what um, I decided I was interested in uh, was uh, perhaps a nice little light for the boat and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, make these on hard boards and put this in a box and make this a, a, a light for my boat. Um, maybe put a diffuser on it like that and you control the uh, brightness with this uh, ferrite rod or I might uh, put a potentiometer here and make the inductor fixed. Um, that would probably be the easier way is to control the uh, voltage going into this and uh, leave the inductor fixed but this this is just a Slayer exciter that's all that is and it's a uh, fine wire out of one of those um, squeeze flashlights they, they, in the squeeze flashlights they have a real fine coil I took the wire off that rounded around a soda straw and then two loops for the primary and then the standard Slayer exciter and look it up online google it uh, that's a 30k resistor it goes from the base to the plus rail and this is just a ferrite uh, rod that uh, was a choke from Radio Shack. I took the wire off of it and did uh, did that technique um, to make the uh, variable inductor and I tried running this on different voltages and this is what I ended up with was a 3.7 volt 18650 lithium battery. Reason being um, I'm using these more and more on the boat. I have chargers for them for solar charging and it's easy to charge them up. I could also use a USB feed on this, uh, the 5.2 volts or whatever the USB feed is, feed is and, and do it that way. But um, this is what I ended up with. It was um, this scenario here and the way I'm running the bulb is not the latest project where we we're running it from the um, heat sink you know we were driving it from the heat sink and then this was going out into space or to a ground I just went ahead and did it the standard way you come off of the uh, secondary coil on the Stifler sec exciters it's the L3 but on a Slayer exciter it's just the secondary it's like a Tesla coil you come in here with this what's called an AV plug it's two switching diodes one in 4148 switching diodes. Uh, one goes in, and one goes back out. It comes in from a single feed and it goes right into the plus minus of the bulb um, LED board. And this is really a thin plate that was rolled up, is all that was, uh, fit inside this, uh, this bulb. This is the bulb I got that I'm using. It's uh, rated at 40 watts but it uses five watts and I got this at the dollar bell store for a dollar and a half but um, I can't seem to find it online they have a similar bulb that has a spiral on it but this particular one is what I was most interested in and I think for what uh, I'm looking for which is a recreational kind of bulb for a camper or a boat or whatever this is this is what I'm looking for right here is this thing right here and this is still daylight here uh, in the dark if you were in the dark and where I go with the boat it's pitch black this would be a really really nice light for the boat uh, one of these 18650s would uh, power this for as long as I needed for the uh, two or three day trips that we normally go on um, this is drawing quite a bit of juice compared to the Dr. Stifler Sec 18. This is drawing um, 1 to 200 milliamps and that poor little transistor there, that 2N222 two 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 two, gets pretty darn hot. These Slayer exciters, that transistor gets hot and I might switch to a, a bigger transistor for this application. But um, I'm all about practicality and to me this is what the projects do is they end up in a product that I can actually use and other people end up doing the same thing as they take these projects and they put them to use 
a application. Um, the reason this bulb was chosen was the electronics were on a board that was independent of the LED board. And I've had zero luck getting the electronics off of the boards on the regular LED bulb. I tried again today to do it, and I couldn't get the electronics off without ruining the uh, the board that's in most of these LED lights. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with this little project. A lot of fun. Thanks.